Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're testing out Accident the Pilot. Thank you to Playway Games for sending me a copy and, of course, making me aware of this. If you guys want to put out a wish list, I'll put a link in the description field. And, yeah, this looks pretty darn cool. Uh, this is a first responder style game. We arrive on a scene. The first one we're going into from what I'm reading is that we're going to jump into a regular, everyday kind of, like, test area. And this is what they were saying right here. It's like a VR crash test lab, so we're going to jump in and do that and start the simulation. Let's do it. Pop the CD or DVD in. Woohoo! Here we go. All right, so we're approaching the scene again. This is a tutorial base area. So there's no, uh, you know, it's not a real one. Next one we're going to be doing will be a more realistic one from what I've seen. There's a Swedish one. We'll see what it is. Oh, loud. Nice. All right, so look down from this smartphone. This car interior looks friggin' awesome, by the way. All right, grab that. Press one. And call for 911. Okay, I guess we're in England or Europe. It's 112. 112. Oh, hazard lights. That's important. Make sure the cars don't want to collide with you. Yeah, I'll give them some warning. Emergency service response. All right, we're going to go and turn, put out the fire. Always important. We don't want to have any explosions or anything. And of course, we the control. There we go. Let's make sure it's nice and underneath it. Boom, on the ground. It's like we own that. All right, good. Open this up. We're going to put this down at the bottom. Always very nice, very important. Okay, good stuff. We're going to turn off the ignition of a car, red car. Important, we don't want any sparks or any kind of problems. Engine. So, yeah, we don't want to start anything extra. We don't need to worry about it. So, let's turn that off. Good choice. And pop back up. All right. We've got to assess the situation. Of course, we're talking to 911 and Europe 112. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to check out and see. So, when the paramedics are coming, we want to make sure they're aware of the situation that's coming in with emergency services. All right. Nice breathing. Good job. Yep. He's breathing nicely. And the two injuries. All right. Check the second victim, which I think on the bottom. Yeah, there you go. The bottom is telling you that that shouldn't be there. That looks kind of weird. And maybe after we've checked him, that's why I know there's a problem. He's actually done, or this dummy is in worse condition. Not because he's a dummy, but he is a dummy. All right. Help the victim. All right. Let's go help the victim. Time what? Hold, rewind the button. After a while, you will see a, a timeline. Okay. Where am I rewinding to here? Holy trippy, dude. All right, so we turn off the ignition, I guess. Do we turn it off? I don't think we did, did we? Did I turn off the ignition? Yeah, I did. Oh, my God. Let me back out. Oh, my God. I can't stop myself. I can't stop myself. I want to check out the victims. Hurry up. Come on. Can you run? This means being pretty fast. Click and hold. Make sure everything's good. Same thing with this one. Let's listen. Good shape here. He's got some breath decent breathing. Some not oh, some serious wounds there. And uh, his buddy here doesn't have any wounds, but definitely not in great shape. Okay. No, not not good at all. That this is really, really bad. Help the victim. Yeah, that, definitely what I want to do. I saw the health kit when I walked past it. Excellent. Got one of these real big kits. This is the one we're gonna take care of. Okay, so let's open this up, and we're gonna use the gloves and the wonderful let go back over here of course we want to adjust the airway very important very very important before we start some of this and there we go nice so i guess we just click on this and we're gonna start chest compressions all right let's do this uh 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 sting alive sting alive uh, 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 sting alive also I'd hit that right in the middle of these ones uh, uh, sting alive sting alive uh, 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 staying alive. Woohoo! All right, that's pretty cool, man. That worked out well. 4,100 and 770 points. What's the max, man? I, I couldn't get more perfect than that, I think, right? Maybe a little bit, I guess, is a possibility, right? How the hell you use this? Oh my god, you have to move the mouse all the way up. Did that work? Yeah, that's one. Holy crap, you drag the mouse up and down. It's <laughs> freaking trippy, dude. All right, we have, of course, we want here. No, not good news. He looks like he is, he's, he's not going to make it. 
He's not going to make it. All right, what's going on here? That's 4,100. That's pretty good. Thought we did pretty nicely. What the hell's going on? Gather all clues. We're investigators now? Okay. And press F. All right, we'll gather the clues. And close. All right, so let's press F. And they're already telling me which ones are which. Position number one. All right, I guess let's press escape. And this is position number three. Can I, oh, I have to grab it. There we go. So let's grab all these. This is really not difficult. I can figure it all out. So yeah, you grab them all and then you just place them in position. So these are going to be a storyline of what happened to the victims. Very, very cool. Finish an arrow. Success. Superstar. Dummy. This is just the dummy. Not these dead. Dead. Both of them died? Really? This is just, you think I was doing okay, though? What, what, what happened to our dummies? All right, trippy VR moment there. Let's take out everything. We've done our job there. That was pretty cool. And, uh, oh, there we go. Cronenberg, country, Sweden, all right? Well, of course, I'm Sweden. Sweden. That's fine. And I hope this. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like there'll be some first responder, Angus Nielsen. I'm not sure if it's, is that her name? I have no idea. Oh, he's going back in VR land. All right, so we're finally approaching the area, I guess. Slow down, dude. The countryside, a little dip there. Ooh. A little problem with the road. Slow it down. I'm not driving, by the way, if you guys were asking. I, I'm not driving this. It would be cool if we were. We could have caused more accidents, but yeah. So he was able to put his hazard lights on. It might be automatic. Some vehicles are automatic after an accident. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, call for 911 because if we stopped the vehicle, very important. Say, put your hazards on. Very, very, very important. And I can't get out. Okay. I could do two things at once. I'd be popped out already. Yep. Ah, yeah, there we go. Get the heck out of there. Yeah. Ignition. And it looks like there's a fire back there. I thought I saw when I was driving up. So, you know what? I'm going to grab this here. They want me to put these uh, turn off ignition of three vehicles, mark accident location. Uh, I'm thinking the fire is a little bit important, uh, probably more important than putting this down, but I don't want to have a problem here. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to throw like a semi coming back behind me. I would definitely go for that fire right away, uh, but again, I don't want to cause more accidents than I have to. And sometimes in these countrysides, especially, very, very dangerous. And you can't run for some reason. This guy is unable to run. I think they should, uh, this guy or girl, whatever you want to call him. It's all good. Let's just go and do this right away. There's a couple of victims here so far. It looks like in the bottom, four victims, maybe one dead. Holy shit. Let's keep on getting us out. Oh, crap. Did they have one? So is it out? No, it's not out. It's not out. There is. Wow, they have everything in the back of that one. Okay, let's drop that. Like we we can't. Don't care. Let's just turn off the ignition right now. Let's put this over here. Again, I don't want to. I want to help them out, but I gotta get this done ASAP. I want to make sure there's no other vehicles coming in at full throttle and killing me. No use for a first responder being killed. While they're helping out, and hopefully you have more than one person that's able to come here. But it looks like all people are gone down on the ground. Let's turn off the ignition of the vehicles here uh, before anything starts and happens. Let's turn you off. I'll have to get up here. Wow. Damn, dude. Okay. Okay, turn off that. Let's just uh, slide yourself back down. Um, all right. Probably easier to hang to slump across them. Plus, I think it's window. There we go. All right, so assess the situation. Uh, inspect him. Let's say uh, while we're inside here. Can you? Can you uh... yeah, let's make sure he can breathe. Let's check for some. Do I hear anything? I don't hear any breathing. All right. Uh, he definitely has a problem. Again, we're telling this to paramedics. Golf compartment lock. Yeah, I'm trying to rob the guy for freak's sake. What the hell am I doing? All right, there's another victim back here. The scene. Sir, can you hear me? 
let's just adjust him a bit so you can see and listen here. Yeah, he's breathing. He's actually okay-ish for now. There's one wound there. Is there anything else below? Oh, my God, dude. You came through that windshield, didn't you, dude? Seatbelts won't kill you. If you wear them, they will help you. Oh, my God. This is not good. Uh back some bad memories. Okay, let's uh check this. Yeah, she's uh she's got a seatbelt on it. Okay. Let's bring her back. Wow. Alright. She's got a wound there. Let's just check for her breath. There's no breathing. Fortunately she might have been killed on impact. Passenger door is locked. Open this. Oh, not a child, damn. Okay, buddy, please, you're the one that's breathing, all right? I don't want to give a CPR to a child. Okay, well, we, we have, yeah, I'm going to pick that up right away, it's right there. I'm going to start with this child, man, I think he's the worst off in the bottom there so far. I don't see, well, well, did they drop, can I not open and grab him? What the hell? Check the exact location. What the freak? Check the exact location. Oh my god, I gotta go back to my car. I saw that GPS thing in the middle. I didn't think it was gonna be anything. Oh, for freak's sake, dude, my people are dying. Okay, no, seriously, hurry the freak up. Here, here's my sat nav. Now let me go. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Let me out of my freak. Okay, can I get the freak out of my car? Thank you. I'd like to help out people. And anytime soon. Who's worse off right now? Like, child is worse. Damn, that kid's worse off, dude. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we can actually pull him out of the car. Be ginger, ginger, ginger. Where is he? Oh, my God. All right. Whoa. Trippy. Grab this. Gloves on. Of course, just the head. There we go. He's got to click and hold it. Nice. All right, so this is... This one's a little tough. I like the cheeks and everything, but we know. Okay, we gotta let go of it. A little tougher in uh, in game. Those masks are phenomenal. Oops, click and hold. He's breathing his own. Good. Let's put him into a position for sure. Yeah, recovery position right away. We're in good shape. Uh, did I not hear him long enough? Do I need to really like listen like thoroughly to him? Okay, let's get remove this. Let's put him in recovery. First the arm here, then that arm. Then we got to turn him over a tiny bit. There we go. Leg up. Fold him over. And that is good for now. And then adjust the head, of course, for a little breathing. Beautiful, actually, game pretty good job. Pretty good job on that game. Do I have the same safety kit on me? I do have the same safety kit. All right, this guy was in a bad shape. I'm not sure if I had enough time to get back and help him out. Yeah, we do. All right, so this should be interesting. Let's... A seatbelt. It's freaking... Good job wearing it, though, dude. I, I appreciate you doing that. No one likes being thrown out a window. Windshield. Hey, buddy, on your side? Sorry for stepping ahead, dude. Okay. <laughs> Open up the safety kit. And, okay, I guess we put the gloves on again. All right, it's important. Let's adjust his head. Over here, put this mask on. All right, and we're gonna start chest compressions on this one. Got you. God darn it. Da, uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Uh, uh. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm missing up on this one. I'm telling you right now, I, I was not impressed with my clicking. I got thrown off of the Sting Alive song when I first started. I didn't get it right. All right, yeah, stop talking, game engine, save lives. Okay. Okay, one. You gotta remember to let go of the click. Still nothing. Whoa. Uh oh. Here we go. Ambulance coming to help out. Thank God. Hopefully they can save some people's lives here. Well, we did our job. I know the mother, unfortunately, uh, doesn't look like she'd make it. And that is very... If that's a mother, of course. That's very uh, distraught. All right. Uh, close. 
No need to have that open again. Wow, this is this is where it tells you about it. You gotta be careful when you drive this shape. Alright, gather clues and put events in order. Okay, so all right, that's a clue right there. Collision uh impact coming truck, gotcha. Uh blood stain irrelevant. Yeah, definitely not not really relevant. This skin mark should be relevant for where he was, but I guess not for the timeline. There's a puddle. Actually, it looks very nice, by the way. What's this? Ooh, some animals got in the middle of the road here. A boar stands on the road in the road. All right. Did the boar make it? There's some. Yeah, I guess he made it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Skid marks. All right. Full lanes avoiding animal. Yeah, that makes sense to me. What's this? Irrelevant. A log is irrelevant. How many clues? We have three. There's more skid marks down here. Is that part of it? No, those are puddles. How far you can go on this, man? Looks like some broken fencing here. That's not it, right? This is way too far from the actual accident. Because if you got the animal up there, this occurred right where the skid started avoiding and went on a head-on collision right there. Still don't understand a pattern here. He lost control, went on collision. And then, all right. Gotcha. All right, so bloodstains are relevant. I'm figuring we have to take in a chain event from behind. And, yeah. Uh, irrelevant. That is a clue. Four of six. Okay. Nothing back here, right? No. Is the ambulance guy in there? No. Close the trunk. There's some stuff here. Locked, locked. Oil puddle. Okay. It's also locked up here. There's nothing back here. Where the frick am I missing here? Okay, wait. The guy went through the window, windshield, so that means he probably didn't have a safety belt on. You can't get the job in there? Okay. So we did click on the this being a clue, right? No, we didn't. Wow. And that means... Where's... Is he on the phone? The safety belt. There we go. He wasn't wearing it. That's what it is. All right. Let's just hop out of this cab. And see what is what. This, this looks freaking insane, by the way. That looks really amazing. Not like... I mean, it's not amazing, but the graphics are absolutely beautiful. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so first things first, the animal stands in the middle, that's for sure, and then, uh, yeah, change his lane to avoid the animal, that's right, and then he collides, I guess, right, with this, Suzanne breaks the knot, she probably falls at the end of this one, and collision incoming truck, okay, and Suzanne breaks and collides, Actually, collision would probably throw him out of the window first. Correct. Truck driver not wearing a safety belt. Ejected. I don't know if that's in order or not. Probably the contrary, not wearing a safety belt would probably be here and there. I don't know if we have to put this back in exact order. There we go. I'm not sure if we get like mega points if we get this correctly. And then she slams in at the end. Finish scenario. Success. All right. Uh, careful examination, hospital, Jacob uh, Harrelson, uh, diagnosed with spinal injury. Ooh. And there went to emergency surgery, uh, which had to complete several months of rehabilitation and able to walk again. Oh. Uh, works as a security guard at a local supermarket now. Sorry, dude. Uh, I Ingot suffered a significant blood loss due to uh, deep lacerations in his arm and uh, by a piece of glass. Uh, fortunately, your CPR did to save his life and paramedics. The wounds healed quickly, but the glass severed nerves in his arm, arm I guess his hands. Oh, my God. Uh, Suzanne Carr hit a trailer, and a bumper smashed in a front window. Hit her and okay, killed her instantly. Damn. That's sad. After the impact of uh, August Olander, uh, went to shock and resulted in coma. He also suffered from several minor internal injuries after five weeks. He regained consciousness and returned home to live with his father. Accident. Uh, mother traumatized him. I could just freaking imagine. Dude, that's that's really bad. Glass covered. The injuries were minor, however, he was able to function normally. Damn. 
I just want to make sure I got the rest of these currently. Versus the local uh, monitoring the cameras. You'll need to take painkillers for the rest of his life, dude. That's, you see, safety belts, man, but still. This is just a bad scene. All right, here you go. So thank you very much for playing this. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, it'll be on Steam, uh, available H1 2020. So it's coming up not too long from now. And yeah, if you guys want to check it out, it's very, very cool. Uh, I mean, you can actually test it out yourself and have some fun with it. Looks like they have tons of scenario. I'm curious to see what their output is. Uh, I think the only thing we did maybe cool is see some running and stuff. And I don't know. It looks, it looks very cool, pretty detailed. I actually appreciate it too. It might teach some people some stuff too and how to react to during an accident, which can be a very stressful time for anybody. So thank you all for being here. Do appreciate it. If you guys like seeing new games, and uh, yeah, just hit the like button, get a comment feel. It's always love to hear back from you wonderful people. And thank you for being here and supporting this channel and being part of this amazing community and making it better each day. You guys are the best. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you.